So let's remind us what we've learned here today. I'm interested in exceptions, and I think many of us are interested in those exceptions to the rules. Why are things constants in nature? That keeps me up at night. Why? I was probably a very difficult child in junior high and high school. But what I'll say is that that kind of openness to questions is part of what I want, I hope, that the work of myself and my team that produced this. What I want to really reiterate is it's not about arsenic, and this isn't about Mono Lake. It's about thinking about life in a planetary context and asking questions, simple questions, with a simple experimental design. And so, in like a bigger scale, let's go from the small and then we'll go into the abstract. All life on Earth required carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. So I've shown here today that we've discovered a microbe that can substitute arsenic for phosphorus in its major biomolecules. Not just DNA, but things like ATP that many of those high school students out there I hope recognize, and also all sorts of other biomolecules. What does that suggest? It cracks open the door to the potential. You know, my niece asks me, how did we get here? And are we alone in the universe? And it's profound that we don't know the answers exactly to that yet. Maybe not in my lifetime, but maybe in her lifetime, she'll be able to, to be able to answer that. But I hope my work serves as a proof of concept that we can experimentally test and show evidence of what else is possible. So I'd like to roll some footage just to give us the expansive nature of life, from microbes to crustacea to bugs to mammals to everything you know that's alive on planet Earth. Again, hearkening back to the idea of the pale blue dot. Understanding life here, all sorts of life, lions and tigers and bears. And how everything we know is on this tree of life. Everything you've ever thought of so far that we can see on this tree of life. So what we're presenting here today is a member of this tree of life. We're cracking open that door. Strange EFAJ1, the bacterium, is a different way to do business. Just to open the possibility to what else is possible. It has solved the challenge of being alive in a very different way than, than we knew of. What other questions can we ask? This will inform us about life on our own planet, and it will help inform us of life. We will find it one day elsewhere in the universe. Thank you.